Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading of yours. Okay, Aries. Five of Wands. Right now, it looks like you guys are not on the same page. There's a lot of conflict between you guys going on, okay? Fighting, bickering, you know, arguments. Could be competition. There could be a lot of conflict also. On um, your mind is the Knight of Swords in reverse here. You're holding back communication. But this person is trying to like watch you, okay? But they're watching you from a distance and this person is holding back their feelings. You're both clearly in a lot of conflict here, okay? One person is watching you, okay? Now, again, Aries, this could very well be you. You could resonate with this side more than this side, okay? So take it how it resonates. I'm going to call you this side so that I don't get confused, okay? So you're holding back communication. You know you feel the need to talk to this person, but you're not. This person has a lot of feelings for you, okay? But they're just being very deceptive right now. They're holding back their feelings. They're not being very true about their feelings or intentions towards you. I'm getting heavy no communication, okay? But they're being very sneaky right now. Watching you, but they're not saying anything. Um, in, your, in your feelings, six of cups in reverse here. So yeah. You're thinking about this situation or this person very, very negatively. Whilst this person out here is wanting to manifest a brand new beginning with you. The mutual energy is the emperor in reverse here. Both being control freaks right now. Being extremely stubborn, stubborn and no one's ready to budge. Five of swords here, you don't trust this person in your actions. Whilst this person out here is ready to be in a commitment with you. Okay, with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel this person is ready to commit. This person is bored of being single, okay? Uh, because this could be someone here who just was commitment phobic, okay? They kept, they kept running away from commitment. But now, they're ready to come back towards you, okay? But this has left a bad taste in your mouth is what I'm getting. The outcome is the queen of wands here. So it looks like you are going to take action towards them. Or I feel that this is how this person sees you. They see you as the queen of wands here, but I don't know if they're still going to take action towards you. I feel the queen of wands is here where they see you as the badass. They see you as very sexy, sassy, confident, okay? They see you as the one, okay, for them. But I don't know if they're going to take action towards you because, yes, they are definitely manifesting a commitment, definitely manifesting, manifesting a relationship with you after being sneaky and deceptive, okay? But, yeah, this person's just not being open about what they feel for you, okay? And they're just hiding their feelings. Um, let's see. Clutter of the five of wands. Yeah, because someone doesn't want to take a risk. You're dealing with someone who's not a risk taker, for sure, okay? This person thinks they don't trust you or uh, they don't trust the relationship. They just feel that being in a relationship with you is... Mm, it, it's a very reckless move, okay? With the fool in reverse here. That's why there's a lack of new start here. You're both very passionate about each other, but they won't take action towards you because they're very conflicted in their head. Okay, see, they're watching you, but they're just not being open about their feelings. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, because this was too much work, right? This relationship was too much work for you. You were doing all the work here. This relationship from being... Uh, more like a happiness, uh, more like an emotionally fulfilling relationship, it became something which was overburdening you, okay? Probably you were doing all the work on your own and that was just something that you couldn't handle anymore. So you just stopped putting in your effort. What's the ten of wands? The devil, yeah. This was a relationship that got very, very toxic. This person was very toxic, the situation got toxic, the connection got toxic, okay? You could be very codependent on this person, okay? And that's why you kept on putting the work over and over again, only to realize that this was just someone who was just not good for you or your higher self. This relationship was something that you were very codependent on is important. You felt very tied, bound, restricted to this person here. And then after some time, after, because it was very tempting, right? This relationship was very tempting here. This person was very tempting. It was like you were addicted to this person. But then slowly you realized that this addiction was just get, getting a toll on you, you know? Why the seven of swords? Why is this on this person's mind? Yeah, death in reverse. This person refuses to let you go, okay? They don't want things to end. This person obsesses about you. They obsess about communication with you. But when it comes to putting in the work, putting in the effort, they're constantly procrastinating, okay? They don't put in the real work. 
But yeah, this person is just being deceptive. They have a lot of love for you, they have a lot of feelings for you, but they just won't make that move. They're probably trying to fool you by showing you that they don't give, that they don't give a shit. Honestly, they do, and a lot. They won't let you go. What's the death in reverse? This person is refusing to accept an ending between you guys. What's the death in reverse? Yeah, they need to make a decision. This person's at a crossroads out here, okay? They're half and half out. They need to make a decision. There could be distance between you guys. Maybe they're thinking about how they can narrow down the distance between you both. This could be a long distance relationship, okay? Doesn't have to be, but this person is here needing to make a choice, okay? They're sitting on the fence but not doing anything about it. Because this person has fear of rejection is what I'm doing, okay? They do, they, they, they fear after an ending out here, you're not gonna take them back. What's the Six of Cups in reverse here? Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you see the situation for what it is. You're no longer in denial of the situation. Probably earlier because you thought this was your soulmate, right? You had the best of memories with this person here and you probably thought this was a very strong connection and things can never go wrong and it's okay, this is what happens. Probably some of you even call yourself as a uh, that you were in a twin flame journey or a soulmate journey where you know, it happens, shit happens, right? But because you kept believing in it, what happened is that you tried to ignore this toxicity of this person here and now you're holding a grudge against them and now you're no longer living in your head, okay? You're no longer feeding this connection. What's the two of swords in reverse? What's the two of swords in reverse? Five of cups, see? This is a hopeless situation for you, okay? You're crying over spilt milk. You can't get over the fact that something just didn't work out. You have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse about that things could have handled differently or you just have a lot of regret about that loss. You're grieving that loss, you know. You're just quite traumatized and you're emotionally, energetically feeling that loss, okay, big time. But unfortunately, with the Ace of Cups here, I think you're loving yourself now, okay. Or you're okay with a new beginning out here, wanting to have a new emotional cycle with this person. But more than anything, I feel you're learning to love yourself, okay. You're learning to love yourself. What's the magician? Why is this in this person's feeling? They're manifesting a new beginning with you. What's the magician? This person's just trying to fool you. See, eight, nine of swords here. They're stressing about this brand new beginning with you. They're stressing about manifesting this, okay? With the moon in reverse here, this person could be hiding their feelings, okay? But they're finally ready to release the stress, anxiety, whatever came in with this relationship. Again, this person has a lot of clarity here. They no longer want to hold back their emotions, okay? But they're stressing about this new beginning with you. They're stressing about manifesting this with you. This person has a lot of regret, okay, about what happened, how it happened. And they're constantly having sleepless nights. They're up at night thinking about you. You're 24-7 on their mind. Why is the nine of swords here? Because they love you. Because they love you. This person has a lot of deep feelings for you, okay? They have a lot of deep emotions for you. They feel real deep for you. But this is someone who's mature right who's very who's mastered their emotions here so yeah they got you fooled they pretty much got you fooled seven of pentacles in reverse here this person feels you give up on the situation okay they feel no, no longer waiting for them they, they look at you as someone you know who doesn't have the who's just fed up of waiting for them okay they see you, you they feel you see them as someone who's a waste of time you've just given up on them while the emperor in reverse here you're both not letting go of control you're both being stubborn and not budging why the emperor in reverse here? Yeah, king of wands here. So they want to take action towards you, Aries. Okay, I think you're both very passionate about each other. We have the king and the queen here. I think you're both wanting to each wanting, wanting each other. You're both on the same page here, okay? But the thing is that you both won't budge. They're in their head and they feel they need to make a decision, okay? They won't even let you go. You, on the other hand, you're, you don't want to make a move towards this person here because there's too much disappointment. But you see things for what it is, but then you still, at the same time, want that new beginning with them. They're both fooling each other. What's the king of wands? Knight of cups, yeah, see? You both have a lot of love for each other. A lot. But no one wants to talk. No one wants to take action. You're both holding back. What's the five of swords here? What's the five of swords? This is in your action. What's the five of swords here? I think you're standing up for yourself. What's the five of swords? Because you, you don't trust this person. You feel the need to stand up for yourself and protect and guard yourself. Ten of cups, yeah. I think you're wanting to fight for this ten of cups here, but in a way where, you know what, I want what I want and I'm going to win under any circumstances is what I'm getting from your side here. 
with the tower in reverse here, you're trying to avoid a disaster, okay? So you're being very guarded. I feel you're, again, I'm getting a lot of, you feel defeated by this person, but you're ready to fight for this connection, okay? What's the Ten of Cups here? What's the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, see, you're not talking about it. You want this with this person, okay? You want it. Um, but with the Five of Swords, I feel you don't trust this person because of which you're holding back. You're thinking a lot about the situation, but when it comes to taking action, you're not doing anything about it. Okay, you're just trying to process, think, imprints here, see? You're taking your own sweet time. You're being very slow, very patient with the process, okay? You're in no hurry to uh, for this person to come back or you're in no hurry to get this person to come towards you. You're just like, in your mind, you're like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, okay? It is what it is. All right, this person is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. Why is this person here? This person is very codependent on you. Why is this Nine of Pentacles in reverse here? This person has everything that they need to be very single and happy on their own, okay? And that's what they were doing. They were probably in a relationship with you. They were just being single or acting single. But they're not doing that anymore because you're the missing piece of the puzzle. What's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this person's making that slow movement towards you, okay? This person's very slow to commit, okay? Very slow to commit you. They understand that it was a one-sided situation in the past year. They realize that they didn't they didn't give you what you deserve. They gave you the, the put, they put in the bare minimum. You know, they were taking advantage of you, okay? But that's why they're being very careful about moving towards you. They want to be in a relationship with you, but it's gonna be super slow. Okay? Super slow. You may feel you're being messed with again, but that's just how their energies are, okay? Two of wands here. A lot of waiting energy on this person's side. What's the knight of pentacles? Why is the knight of pentacles? Three of Cups in reverse here, yeah, see? This, there's going to be a lack of reconciliation from this person's side. See, Four of Cups, this person has a lot of fear of rejection. They feel you're just going to, like, shut them off, okay? You're not going to do anything about them. See, there's a lack of reconciliation here. It's there. They want this with you, but they're just too slow, okay? Too slow. So that's why there's going to be some time before they come into, come into reconciliation with you. See, someone doesn't want to take a risk here because of which, you know, someone has trust issues because of which there is a lack of a new start here. And that's someone who's constantly conflicted in their head with the five of wands here. Their head is saying something else, their mind is saying, their heart is saying something else. They need to get out of their head. Why is the queen of wands here the likely outcome? Queen of wands here. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Someone's coming towards you with a, with a brand new beginning here. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Ah, see, this is what the problem is here. This person sees you as the Queen of Wands, like I said, right? They're very attracted towards you, okay? They know that you're the one, you're the desired one here. There is a potential here of an opportunity of starting something brand new, okay? But the problem here is with the Seven of Cups, I think there is no action taken from any side. I think this person out here is not taking action and you are the other hand, you're just thinking and doing nothing about it. So yeah, that's how they see you, but the opportunity is there, but I feel no one's going to take up that opportunity. This person, it is on their mind, okay, to come towards you with commitment or with something stable. But with the Seven of Cups, this person is constantly in two minds, okay. That's why the situation is getting nowhere. I think this person is, is losing hope and faith that things will ever work out. Seven of Cups, they're constantly dreaming about this commitment with you. But when it literally comes to taking action, I don't think they're doing it yet. Because they're just being very slow, okay. This person, relationship is not a priority for them, okay. That's just something that you should know. Work, business, money, stability, career goals, everything else is a priority but the relationship. Deep down, they want this commitment with you, but they're just going to take their time, okay. Unlike the Knight of Wands here, who wants things done yesterday, you can't rush this person here. You cannot rush it, okay. You on the other hand here, you see this person as your happily ever after, but yeah, you're just, your guards are up, okay. You're just trying to fool yourself that you don't have feelings for them. In your actions, you know, you're just, your guards are up, right. You, you have like this... Uh, a defense mechanism okay where uh, you just don't want to be fucked with so yeah that's why you're just thinking and not doing anything about it but you have the ten of cups on your side they have the knight of pentacles on their side okay they're more slow moving you want that happily ever after but no one's doing anything about it because there's this huge risk factor and confusion here around this situation okay that's what i have for you hope this resonates i'll see you next time bye bye next time bye bye